Let me start off by just saying that you're the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. You are my high during my lows, my sun on the cloudy day, the person who makes everything always okay. You support and love me no matter what. Love to me is the lazy days not wanting anything but that one person, i.e. you. Um, the little things like being with each being each other's ears, eyes, heart, souls, one couple. I want to tell you that you are the best thing that has ever happened to me in my life. The choice with you and being with you forever was so easy. I never thought a love like this or ours existed, but honestly something is so different about you to me and you're perfect. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for being patient with me, even though I'm annoying. Thank you for coming back to me, even when I was being stupid. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me to love Star Wars. I never in my life thought I would know what a Sith is. By the way, you're welcome. That's dedication. Oh, and you're listening ears to my bitch sessions, to book talks, family drama, work, and typical anxious J stuff, stuff. Just guess what, you never, you never can ever tell me to take a break. You just tell me it'll buff and I adore that. Today is our new beginning forever. I thought my opportunity for love like this was gone, but boy was I wrong. Your drive to always do the best and be the best is so attractive. The love you have for your hobbies. I might never understand the money you spend, but I love your drive to complete it. I love your loyalty. You are here for me and only me and I've always believed that. Your way to always make me laugh. I love that. <laughs> I saw it in a photo, but I didn't see it in real life. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thanks. you to take a moment and pray with me as we read this together. Hi Rick, it's Jay. Today I get to become a boon and boy, I love your grandson. He's one of one hell of a catch. You would be so proud of him and all of his hard work to our family, Graham and the boys. I know I never was fortunate enough to physically meet you, laugh with you, or even just learn about you, but I know I hear Austin is just like you and I am blessed and grateful. Thank you for taking care of Austin when he needed love and support and pushing him to be the man he is here today. I know it's not new for me to pray with you as I do it all the time, but now Austin is joining us. Today we have put together a life that we both so wish you could see, but we know you are here in spirit and thank you for molding my husband into the wonderful man that he is today. He will strive to be a wonderful man, friend, and father just like you. We wish you were here, Jay. Okay, I'm sorry if you cried. But that was necessary. Don't be nervous. I'm probably really nervous right now. Right now, all I can do is smile and become so excited to be your wife. I can't wait for babies to watch you become a father with them, frame their little minds to love Star Wars. You will be wonderful. But most importantly, thank you for choosing me. Thank you for understanding me. Thank you for making me feel like I'm always yours. Thank you for making me feel like I'm worth it and for taking the time and loving peaches like she's your own. Thank you for being patient at the beginning and all the way through. You and I both know that there's always bumps, but it always has been grace and ease with us. Life tests us all the time, and we always overcome it together. God makes us work hard for this beautiful relationship, and we show him that we show him each time that no matter what obstacle it is, we get through it together. Because of how pure your heart is, I promise to hold your heart with the most love and compassion I possibly can. I promise to be the man I can be, and along with the best man for our future family. I promise to try and limit and control my Star Wars addiction um, to a normal limit. I promise to only put my cold feet on you every now and again when I get done playing video games. But most of all, I promise to love you and make the future for our family the best it could be. 
I love you till death do us. Jordan, repeat after me. I, Jordan, take you, Austin, to be my husband. I, Jordan, take you, Austin, to be my husband. I will share my life with yours, build our dreams together. I will share my life with yours and build our dreams together. And love you through good times and bad. And love you through good times and bad. These things I give to you today and all the days of our lives. These things I give to you today. <laughs> Think, slip away. These things I give to you today. These things I give to you today. And all the days of our lives. And all the days of our lives. Austin, repeat after me. I, Austin, take you, Jordan, to be my wife. I, Austin, take you, Jordan, to be my wife. I will share my life with yours, build our dreams together. I will share my life with yours, and we will build our dreams together. And love you through good times and bad. And love you through good times and bad. These things I give to you today. These things I give to you today. <laughs> and all the days of our lives. And all the days of our lives. So, having made these promises in front of everyone here today, by the power vested in me in the great state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss the night. about fall 2019 and Jordan calls me one day. She tells me she met this guy at a bar and she really likes him. So I'm like, all right, tell me more, tell me more. Um, she continues to describe, you know, the night and something that she kind of said to me caught me off guard. I asked her to repeat herself and she asked me, I told the guy when I introduced myself, how you doing cowboy? I said, what did you get yourself into? Bye, man. A few months go by and Jordan asks Andrew and I to meet Austin. She wanted our approval, which she obviously doesn't need, but she, we did all decided to go to dinner one night. Meeting Austin for the first time was a little intimidating. First, he shows up in this big white lifted truck and cowboy boots. Um, Considering there was no running boards, he got down on one knee and had to help me get into said truck. <laughs> His exterior was a little rugged, but we changed our minds quickly. It turned out that Austin and I, Andrew and I, both really like Austin. He showed us so many qualities that he meshed really well with Jordan's. It was kind of an unexplainable connection. After getting to know Austin, his heart is as big as Jordan's. He's an honest, hardworking man, and I know he'll always protect her. 